Today we're going to talk about one of the best Blender add-ons on the market right now. We already covered it on this channel before, but the developer just updated it and it has plenty of additional stuff, from a whole slew of birds and insects to a lot of customizations and controls. This add-on is a must-have to any filmmaker, VFX and 3D artist. It allows you to add realistic and extremely customizable void particle systems to your scene. The birds and insects are beautifully animated and textured. In addition to that, all of the assets are optimized for both cycles and EV rendering engines. With a couple of clicks, you can easily add realistically animated swarms and insects or flocks of birds to your scenes and this add-on will save you so much time in the long run. In addition to that, it will elevate your shots to the next level. To start using the add-on, first we can see that we have two types of swarms that we can use. We have flying insects and crawling ones. In the flying section, we used to have only locusts, but with the new update, we also got butterflies, flies, hummingbirds, sparrows, crows, and seagulls. In the crawling section, we have black widows, bird-eating spiders, beetles, and centipedes. You can add all of them at once or select only the ones you need to add to your scene. Selecting the crawling and flying tabs together will override the flying parameter and will make all the bugs crawl. For example, if you select locust only, it will fly, but if you select the black widow spider, it will override the flying animation and the locust will crawl, so keep that in mind. After selecting the ones you need, you have to give your system a name. If you don't do that, it will give you an error message. Choose how many birds or bugs you want in your shot by adjusting the number in the field bugs amount. You can choose to give a goal to your swarm by ticking the checkbox labeled add goal. Doing so will give your swarm of insects or flock of birds a goal to head to. For example, you can use this to make bugs chase a character in the scene or move from one side to another. Because without a goal, insects or birds will just wander around aimlessly. On a side note, this swarm system looks like it is based on the 1986 Craig Reynolds Boys algorithm published in his paper called Flocks, Herds and Schools, a Distributed Behavior Model, in which Reynolds outlined the basis of behavior animation of swarms of insects by following three simple rules, separation, alignment and cohesion. By giving the agent in the system initial rules to follow and not creating a frame-by-frame -frame animation, the boy's behavior will be more realistic, hence behavioral animation. The expression boy refers to a smallest agent in the system, like bugs or birds. The expression itself is a combination of words, bird-like, shortened to boys. You can also add a collision object to your scene by choosing one of the three buttons, plane, cube or cylinder. However, you can also select your own object in your scene and make a collision object by hitting the select geometry to collision button. After setting everything up, now you hit add bug system. Please note that the emitter will be placed in the position of your 3D cursor. Now hit play in your emitter and watch the magic happen. Your goal is a big empty axis. You can select it and move it wherever you need your flock to go. You can also animate your goal or move it in real time as long as you didn't bake the animation yet. Now after adding your system, you have to switch to Particle Properties window to fully customize your particle system. The Spotify add-on builds its parameter upon Blender 3D particle systems. Because of this, there are countless options and opportunities for a user to customize your bug board systems. You can do this through Blender, even after the particle systems are implemented through the add-on. There are so much parameters that you can tweak here and there to make the behavior of the bugs tailored to your scene. However, I have to stress that the default parameters are great if you just need something in the background to give life and movement to your shot. The default value should be enough, however, if you want to tweak your movement, speed, size or velocity, etc. or anything about your bot system in your scene, you have plenty of customizations and control to satisfy any case. So to sum it up, this add-on will breathe life into your shots, whether it be a swarm of bees in the background or a flock of birds flying in a distance or maybe it is a bunch of spiders crawling through the walls and roofs. This add-on is a must-have for every VFX and 3D artist using Blender, and the developers have their YouTube channel showing all the details and breakdowns of how to use all these techniques in your scene, and hopefully with future updates, the add-on will get even better. If you are interested in Spiderfy or the other add-ons from the same developer, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.